Hey everybody, it's Cindy at Candles and Supplies, and I just want to show you guys a quick video of what I'm doing here today on Independence Day. Um, I am distilling mint. Here's my mint garden. You can see we kind of harvested a lot here. Mint has a lot to give though, and there's a whole lot more. So, so I have this uh, mint thing going on, so that's why I'm distilling it. I've been distilling nonstop for days now. Um, I'm getting some beautiful... I have different ones. I have spearmint and I have, this is apple mint. It's nice and it's big and leafy and soft. And then there's some peppermint in there too. Um, so I have a few different varieties of mint going on. Um, so I'll be distilling mint for a while, as you can see. Um, but we are taking this video from the herb garden here. Um, and I'm, I'm running both of my stills because as you can tell, I have a lot of mint. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the setup that I have. So um, over here, this is Allie, if you've ever seen one of my demos. This is the one I travel with and do demos. Allie came to Atlanta. Allie does all the demos at work. It's nice, she's a 10 liter Alcatar. So it's a nice, uh, it fits a nice amount of plant material in there. Um, and it's, you know, a quick, an, an hour to still, hour and a half or whatever. So it's really nice if you don't have a lot of time or a lot of plant material. Um, I have her on an electric burner um, down at the bottom. So I have my electrical cord running out to an outlet out by the pool. Um, so she's on an electrical one because she's a 10 liter. She's pretty small, so um, it works out good on that. I don't have two propane. Um, distilling outside, I'd prefer propane, but I'll use electric for her because she's smaller. Um, so how I have her set up, she's on the electric burner. The mint is inside here. Up here is the condenser, and that's where we want to keep cool water going because what happens, the plant material gets distilled down in the plot. The plant and the water is down here, so it turns into steam and then it rises up into the condenser here. Um, it's very important to keep the condenser cool. So what I did is I got like a garden hose fixture just at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, one of those two, I have Lowe's near me, so I find myself there a lot. Um, but this has a valve on it. So this is my cool water garden hose coming in and I just have it just opened a little so that just a little bit of water trickles into the condenser to keep it cool. And then, so the cool water flows into the bottom. It's at the bottom of the still. The cool water flows into the bottom and then the condenser right in the middle will heat it up and then the hot water will overflow out my overflow tube which i have running into the second condenser because i have two stills going here this is my 30 liter traditional um, and i'm just doing a hydro distill on both of these because mint's nice and um it to me it has a lot of water in it so a hydro distill is kind of perfect and it gets it going quicker too so this one, since it's a 30 liter and bigger, I put this on a propane burner. Um, so you can see that my tank's down below here. And then the burner. And then the pot with the plant material. And then the cap. My thermometer is actually on the other side. I have it set up like this so that my overflow water from Alley can run right down into this condenser. And I just put the tube right in the middle to keep this condenser cool. And then the hydrosol comes out here. So I actually have like... I'm distilling the same material, but I have two stills going um, with the mint going on and, and coming out of both of them. And then the overflow tube from this condenser, I just run down um, into my bucket here. Kind of fell out of the bucket. I run down into my bucket and then I use the water to water my garden with. Um, but I just wanted to show you this setup. Um, and it's real important, like if you're running a setup like this, or even if you're just setting up your still, you want to kind of get everything in place first before you put your plant material and start heating and everything. So a lot of times I've been kind of unorganized and I thought I knew where everything was going. But then once I got the plant material in and heated up the water, then the condenser didn't fit with my, you know, where it was catching the water. Because I, I just use wood or whatever's available. We kind of sliced a tree that we lost last winter and it was one of my favorite trees. So we sliced them into slices and now he gets used for, you know, stacking the condenser. So you see... Um, the still goes up on top of the heat and then the condenser by the time it's attached and everything like that it's not always at the same ground level so you have to use whatever props you can just to get what you need like the the catch bin um, your condenser uh, whatever it is over here I have a, just a block of wood underneath my hydrosol catch under here this distillation is about done so we have the heat that's why it's not giving us anything else but I'm keeping the hose running into this condenser because the cool water Again, runs in here, goes into this condenser, and then the overflow tube comes out, goes right into this condenser to keep that cool, and then right out here. So that way you don't have to have, you know, like two, two pump systems going, two garden hoses coming. You can do a continuous distill, 
If I had another still going, I would probably turn the flow into this condenser a little, little um, more so that it would stay cooler and then the cool water would come out into this condenser. And then I'd take the overflow tube from that condenser and I'd run it into another condenser if I was running three stills. And I would just keep it going until it was kind of impossible to keep the water cool anymore. So, But that's what I'm doing today. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, that way I've had a lot of questions lately on keeping your condensers cool and getting everything set up and what I use. And I've had some great emails and pictures of people showing me their setups and everything. I love them. Keep them coming and everything. Love it. So, and keep distilling. Um, I'll be busy with my mint for a while and then I think I'm going to move on to other things. There's borage and chickweed and everything growing here. So I'll be moving on to that and maybe taking some more videos. Thanks. Have a great day.